Hi, and welcome to another devlog for Athelia, Parasomnia Tower. In this video, I'm going to be discussing grid-based pathfinding, and how I implemented it into my Tactics RPG. In the indie game community, Tactics games are underrepresented compared to other genres. For instance, a quick search by tag on each.io reveals only 1,318 projects labelled as tactical, compared to over 63,000 platformers and over 5,000 roguelike games. I think this discrepancy is in part due to the conceived complexity of programming a tactical RPG, and grid-based pathfinding is one of these contributing barriers. When researching the topic, I found very little in the way of up-to-date tutorials on the subject. However, after reading up on a few websites, I was able to understand the concepts, and it ended up being fairly smooth to implement. For my use case, I decided to use a method known as breadth first search. In order to implement this method, I first numbered each tile. Because I'm using a single small map for this game, I was able to do this manually fairly quickly. However, there are ways to number each tile using code for larger maps. Then, I constructed an adjacency matrix for all the tiles on my map. An adjacency matrix is basically a dictionary which stores each neighbour for a given tile in an array. Again, although it took roughly half an hour, I was able to do this fairly easily manually. However, this is something that you definitely want to be automated for larger maps as it's quite tedious. Once the matrix is constructed, however, the algorithm to search it is fairly simple to write. A quick disclaimer here that I'm not a professional programmer, I've never taken a programming course or been taught how to code, and so my code is definitely not based on best practices. That being said, even allowing movement of 20 tiles or more, this algorithm runs really efficiently. To try and explain this as simply as possible, we first start by checking all the tiles adjacent to the tile the character is currently standing on. For each of those tiles, if that tile is unoccupied, the tile is added to an array of possible options. If that tile is occupied by an ally, the tile is added to an array of possible paths. However, if that tile is occupied by an enemy, the tile is disregarded. Once all the positions adjacent to the starting tile have been searched, the algorithm continues with the next set of possible paths and options, and so on, until the movement of the character has been exhausted. The algorithm then returns a list of all available positions and the path the algorithm travelled to reach each of them. And it's as simple as that. Once the player has selected their chosen position, another piece of code guides the sprite along the path. And we're done. That's it for this video. The next video will be on implementing my open world within a tactical RPG. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. If you have questions about implementing tactics pathfinding, feel free to message me on Discord. The link to the authority Discord is in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.